want a permanent and visible rust repair, it's important to knock the seam down below the original surface. That way, not only does the filler create a flat surface, it also acts as a buffer between the seam and the finish. Today, we're going to finish this glued on patch panel by tapping down the seam, filling it, priming it, and painting it. The impact resistant adhesive used on this patch panel holds up to tapping the seam down and stays watertight as you can see by this test panel. We glued a patch on, that's right here, and this is the seam. And after 24 hours, we tapped that seam down and it held water. After two days, tapped the seam down and it held water. And after three days, we tapped that seam down and it held water. So the glue did not crack or get damaged in any way by tapping the seam down. The goal when tapping down any seam, whether you butt welded, lap welded, or glued, is 1 16th to 1 8th inch. So we're just going to tap this down. You don't need a dolly, but if you would like to use one, you can use one to back up your hammer. So first we're going to try it without the dolly. We're just going to tap it right along this seam. Just like that. Now see that bounced a little bit, so I'm going to use this dolly. And the open spot is about right there on the seam. And that's better. And we don't have to hit it too hard, we just want 1 16th to 1 8th inch. We're just putting a series of dings all the way along there. And we're going to leave these little eighth inch holes because I can get to the back side and we're going to hit it with some good quality undercoating to seal up those holes. Next I'm going to make sure that these holes are tapped down. Because we're filling over those eighth inch holes, we're going to start with a coat of fiberglass reinforced body filler. And the tape <clears throat> is to keep the repair under the, cr the chrome strip or the molding. And we can peel this tape off after I spread the filler. You'll want to catch this fiberglass reinforced filler before it hardens with a cheese grater blade.
and we did move the tape up a bit so that we could get to this edge. If you do end up with a couple of high spots like this and this, you can simply knock them down and fill them in with the second coat.
Now we'll pull the tape and move it up a little bit. After cheese grating the second coat, we'll hit it with some 36 grit on a medium board and then finally some 80 grit on the small rubber block. We'll finish this up with 220 grit on a DA sander, prime it, and paint it. When I get that done, I'll be back to show you the finished panel. Patch panels can outlast many different methods of rust repair, and if done right, is completely invisible. I hope you enjoyed this video on tapping the seam down, filling, and finishing up our glue-on patch panel. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.